Warning, if you don't like anime stickers and gay shit, then click out now because that's what we're talking about today. Hello everybody, today is a very special day for me because there's something that I've wanted to do for a long time and it finally happened. So, little bit of a background. I have been collecting these anime slap sticker, box sticker things for almost three years now. I've always found them to be super awesome and if you don't know what they are, they're pretty much a box sticker. So, it's about this big, it's a box most of the time and it kind of looks like an old Japanese team drift sticker, but they kind of do a mix of anime and whatever else. I've always thought that they were super rad, and it's always cool seeing stickers that have characters from shows that you like and shit like that, so buying them is a must. So ever since I started collecting these things, I've always wanted my own sticker, and I never thought that that would actually be something that would happen. I didn't ever want to actually completely make it myself, that's just a lot of work, and I don't ever really want to open a store, I don't think, selling them, because I'm not a very good artist. But I've always wanted one that's kind of designated towards me, and uh, just one that I designed myself. And a guy came up to me at a drift event last year, and he gave me a sticker. It was a almost like a peeking sticker almost, it's just, it's hard to explain, I'll show you in a minute. And he's like, hey man, he's like, you're the only person that I know that's also into these stickers, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I want you to have this. And I was like, oh man, you don't, you don't have to give me a sticker. And he's just like, well, I make these stickers. I have my own website and I sell them. And I was like, no shit, that's fucking rad. And the sticker was nice quality. It looked really fucking rad. And I was like, dude, this is, this is cool. And so I held on to it for a little while. Didn't really know where I wanted to put it. And it's something kind of special to me because like... This is something that I've always been into, and to uh, have somebody come up and give me one is just rad to me. And uh, I followed him on Instagram, and just kind of followed his page for a little while, and then uh, one day I just messaged him. And I was like, hey, would you ever want to collab and like make a sticker together? And he's just like, yeah, dude, of course, let's do it. And he's like, you got anything in mind? And I started drawing some stuff up, and, uh, and I kind of rough draft made an idea. And I sent it to him, and then he perfected it, put his own twist on it, made it look way better than what mine looked like. And uh, he sent me a picture, and he's like, is this good? You like this? And it was rad. And I was like, yeah, dude, that's fucking sick. Let's do this. And, uh, and so he started making some and selling them. And this is what they look like. I really like this idea because it had the same stripes like my car. It has the same character as the one on my car and then it has the car's name on it. If you didn't know, my car's nickname is Weeb Trash, and uh, it kind of implements all those together, and he even threw my YouTube channel name on there, which is awesome. He fucking killed it with these stickers. I am so stoked on this, and if you want to know who it was that made it, for the sake of me not fucking up the name, because it's kind of hard to pronounce, <laughs> I'm going to try to wing it and say it. Define fucku, fuku, fucku, fucku, freaku, fucku. But that's the guy. Um, his stickers are amazing quality, like, I was kind of expect- holy shit, there's a fucking- there's a dragon mask in the back. But yeah, these stickers are decent quality, like, for a kind of, like, not as known page, like, these are awesome. Like, because I've ran into buying these stickers over the past, I've ran into businesses- businesses. These are normally, like, one guy things, if you didn't know. It's normally, like, one guy designs them, prints them, sells them, doesn't make a lot of them, like that. But sometimes they do kind of cheap out on the quality of the sticker and uh, and kind of cheaps out on the uh, the design itself. But he kills it with these. The, the quality is insane. They look rad. They're super crystal clear. These are awesome. Go definitely check this guy out because these are rad. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, there was a bit of a delay on them, which is fine by me. Uh, like, patience is key with these stickers because most of the time they're pre-orders. So you're not going to get them immediately. Like... You wait on these stickers for a long time sometimes. But uh, on my receipt, he even said, sorry about the huge delay. Hope your car gets back and better than ever. So thank you for that, man. That's fucking rad. I'm stoked on that. 
And how you printed the uh, or the dragon mask in the back, that's fucking cool. That's rad. And he also hooked me up with this uh, Team No Sleep sticker. And that thing, this is just rad. This little sticker's cool as shit. <sighs> but other than that, I wanted to show you guys my sticker collection because there's a decent amount. So normally there's two different types of people that collect these stickers. Um, there's people that want to keep them, hold on to them, and cherish them forever, or trade them off, whatever, or worries about what they're worth. And then there's the people that put them on their cars <laughs> and put them on shit and actually use them. And that's me. I, I put them on my car. Pretty much every single sticker I've ever bought is on my car, and that's why there's a fuck ton of them. So uh, I wanted to show you guys my collection of these things, and um, I'm probably going to slap one of these on my back windshield. The Team No Sleep sticker, I don't know what to do with. That thing's cool, and I don't want to waste it just yet. I want to find a good spot for him. So I'm going to go out to the garage, show you guys around them, and uh, we'll go from there. And by the way, I already called the frame shop, and uh, I think we're going to schedule something up soon. We're not talking about that. <laughs> so I guess we can go front to back. So starting with the engine bay, this one was a gift from my friend Dakota, but it does say fueled by anime titties. <laughs> And I thought that was the perfect place to put it, it was right there. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to be able to tell you guys every stickers maker because I do not remember all these companies. So sorry if I don't know, <laughs> but if I do know, I'll try to tell you if I remember it. Somebody slapped this on my car after the wreck. I think it might have been Luke, but it's fucking cool. That's awesome. <laughs> Right in here, I have an Onodera, confused as shit with a wrench because this is literally me every time I work on this car. And I think Midori Mischief made this sticker. I do not remember, but I think it was. Okay, and this is going to be one of the bigger companies that you guys might know. But this banner was made by Never Content. He makes some pretty rad shit, and I've been following him for a while. This is my second uh, banner from him. Now, on the inside is normally where I keep the more inappropriate stickers and the stickers that I, I cherish, a, cherish a little bit more and don't want out in the weather. Unappropriate, I mean stuff like that. And um, the whole back of my bucket seat is where all the, uh, the lewds are, but we're not going to get into that with it being on YouTube. On the gauge cluster, you can see another Tsukakushi. She's covering her eyes because that is right over where the uh, sock temp gauge is, which it, it, I don't use it in this car. I have I have that gauge for my temp gauge, but I just thought that that was funny. We we're like, don't look at it. You're overheating, but don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a bulky garage sticker for whoever knows them. Check it out on Instagram. Right here, I have a rim and rim. I'm actually wearing an RE0 t-shirt right now. <laughs> Now, up here is where I, I like to keep my uh, my favorite ones, or the ones I cherish a lot. This is on the back side of the banner, on the inside of the car. So these never see weather. So starting with this, if you guys don't recognize this, this was actually a, uh, a sticker dedicated towards a penguin. If I remember correctly, it was a uh, in the Tokyo Zoo, there was a penguin that uh, in the penguin exhibit, they put a an advertisement, a little cardboard cutout, stuck in the ground uh, in the penguin exhibit of this penguin anime girl and there was one penguin that like fell in love with it and would not leave it and was starving itself because it didn't want to leave its side and um, sadly the penguin ended up I think passing away but uh yeah a whole bunch of stuff went down with it this weeboo trash sticker that my friend Timmy got me I thought that was kind of perfect with the name of the car this one was a never content special sticker normally during his drops uh, where he drops all of his stickers. He normally does like a special sticker for whoever orders first, like the first hundred people or stuff like that. And I, I can, actually, this wasn't one of those. This is something else. But uh, it was another special one. And uh, I got two of them actually, two of these ones. And then uh, I think I have it on my helmet, on my uh, skate park helmet. But there is one I do have from Never Content that is a pretty rare one. And I think it was within the first 100 purchases. And he sells a lot of these fucking stickers. So being the first 100 is pretty rare. Here's that sticker I was talking about. Of the guy that uh, that made my stickers. And he came up and he gave me one. I put it in here because that's, that's fucking special to me. That's rad. That's something I always thought would be cool. And they're fucking awesome. Look at this one. This one has like a crazy like holographic look to it. 
Sorry if everything's out of focus. Uh, she is from Gamers, if I remember correctly. And then we got one of the Takahashi brothers. I thought that the sticker is rad because he's giving that fucking don't fuck with me look. <laughs> and over here's a cool one. I bought a jacket off this guy and uh, he gave a sticker with it. And that's Megumi from Kanasuba and she's holding a, a rad old school wheel. And that was kind of cool to me because I waited for this jacket for a long time because this guy had a lot of issues with this shipment. But uh, he finally got it to us. I got the jacket. It's fucking rad. The sticker's rad. Also got this uh, rad Final Bout Smelly. It was from Final Bout 3? Yeah, round 3 up in Wisconsin. So uh, RIP Final Bout. We're going to miss you. I also have a video from that Final Bout if you want to check that out. I think that sums it up for my interior. R.I.P. Atasha. What's funny is when I don't have my side skirt on, Scott, she's a peeking sticker. She is a fucking peeking sticker when I don't have my side skirt. <laughs> now this window is my special window. This is where I keep all my other really rad stickers that I really, really enjoy. So, to start off, this Just Shoot Media sticker. This was my buddy Justin. Uh, a lot of my pictures of my car came from him. He's hooked me up with crazy photo shoots. He's an amazing photographer. He doesn't really do it anymore though, which sucks, but uh, I never want to get rid of this sticker. This was a big time in my life. Another final bout sticker. Another never content sticker. I have multiple on this car. This offbeat garage sticker is pretty, pretty special to me because I, I really fucking enjoy his content and uh, he inspires a lot of the shit that uh, I want to do to this car and he just does everything so right. I really like his channel. Then we boys cannot remember where I got that sticker from. <laughs> and then this up garage sticker from when I was at up garage when I went to Japan. Another video is on that. These are more never content peaking stickers. This one I got as a gift. Uh, this is Sinan from Sword Art Online. Cool Kamaki Kazuki can never remember her fucking name. <laughs> but she's from Kentai Collection. And then another Onodera. I'm a big Onodera fan. And then somebody put a fucking stamp on my window. I think it was Dakota. I'm not sure. But whoever put a stamp on my window, fuck you. And then on my battery switch. I recently got this one and I still can't remember who I got it from. But yeah. I thought that was cool. I've always wanted a really special sticker to go right here. Because that's where it normally says 240SX and it's perfect for a slab sticker. And I finally found one that I liked enough. And it's this Never Content sticker, and uh, it's rad, it has a cherry blossom tree, it says late night fun, it's actually gritty and grainy, I think it used to sparkle, it doesn't really sparkle anymore, but I thought that sticker was rad and fit perfectly right there. And then this window is kind of just like filler, where it's like, it's stuff that I'm into and stuff that I like, but it's, uh, I don't know, uh, it's just kind of like my, my filler window, I guess. Cannot remember who I bought this sticker from, but it was rad, and uh... They ended up forgetting about my shipment and hooking me up with two of these stickers. And then Timmy hooked me up with this Lonely Hearts Club sticker, which is cool. Hook up skateboards. I've always thought their boards were rad. If you didn't know, I do skate. Car drug sticker that I think Dakota sent me or gave me. Grip Royal sticker. Manji Cartel. I met this guy at a uh, at Trisma Drift and he gave me this sticker, which was fucking cool. Ghost Squad, an old school thing from around here. Labeled, another thing from around here. Another Final Bout sticker. And then this is that special one I was talking about. I think I was within the first 100 to order and they sent this from Never Content. It's based on like a Boss Coffee, like Boss Black Coffee from Japan, which they're fucking delicious and I miss these coffees so much because they were so good. And then now we can switch over to the back window, which is the highlight of my sticker collection. There you go, there's a rough look. So we're going to go from top left, right there, top left, and then just make our way down. Okay, and then back at it again with another fucking final bout sticker because I bought a sticker sheet. And then these three stickers were like some of my first stickers I ever bought. This is from the show Plastic Memories. Beautiful fucking show. It'll make you cry. <laughs> I love this. Plastic Feelerys is what we call it. It's a fucking rad show. This sticker, actually, I've had people want me to peel this off, laminate it, and sell it to them. <laughs> because apparently it was a pretty rare thing. It's another Onodera sticker, but it's really worn out, but it's still sparkly as shit. Team Onodera has Onodera staying kawaii as fuck since 2014. So that shows you how long I've been doing this. This came out in 2014 and I bought it then. 
I think it was Kawaii Crew, I want to say it was. The show me your kitty sticker is just, it was a lewd sticker and I was like, that's rad. That's one of the only stickers I don't know who the girl is. D's Nuts sticker from race car stuff. I just, it was a, it was a funny meme at the time. It's kind of dead now. <laughs> this one was another funny one from him. It has a bunch of funny ass shit. <laughs> Much one more time I think is one of my favorite ones. Emotional, oh god, this one's peeling up bad. All, all of my stickers are peeling up and it makes me so sad. Cannot remember the name of this character. That's what sucks. Same with her. She was so funny and I can't remember. But this was funny because this is when the aesthetic thing first came out where they were doing the cup design and it says 420 and then it has a Fiji bottle. But. And she has a gun to her head, which is funny. And Garage Moon Power, I support the shit out of them. They're a bunch of rad ass dudes. Sebastian's really cool. Saw all of them at Final Bout, and uh, that's where I got to first see all of them. Had to pick up a sticker from them and support them. They're rad. This is a reflective ass sticker that Dakota gave me. Okay, so real quick. Dakota is my buddy with that uh, Slam Genesis from a Madness video a long time ago. I got him into these stickers, and uh, he's been buying them fucking constantly ever since and he way overpassed my collection a while back and he doesn't put his stickers on anything normally and he just gives me stickers all the time that he doesn't want and this is one of those they're just like a random he's like hey you want this I was like yeah sure more skid slap another really fucking awesome youtube channel they're funny as fuck i i will always watch their videos <sighs> going back up here this is a sticker that is almost dead it almost gone you can't even hardly see what the fuck is going on anymore but it is almost gone i can't even remember what it said but i wanted to keep it because that kind of shows the age which is kind of the cool part of this is you get to see how long these stickers have been on here. and then another plastic memory sticker one clutch man thought that was funny brake shift more awesome guys. Um, back when I was hard into the Miata days, these were the guys to watch when it came to Miata drifting. But uh, they've all moved on to a lot cooler chassis, but still a rad sticker that is still in good ass condition still. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Pants' sticker, she's from K-On. Uh, that was a really funny one that I thought, I don't know, why not? Yeah, more lewd stickers that were supposed to go inside the car, but I didn't have room. A Yura Manga Sensei sticker. I didn't ever expect to see a sticker come from this show, but as soon as I saw one, I had to get it. I love the show as much as everyone else hated it. Always, oh my God, this guy's been making stickers for a while, and they're always awesome quality. But uh, he dropped this one. That's Aqua from Konosuba. That was another show that I really enjoyed, and uh, even though Mega Moon is better, Aqua still got my back windshield because this is a just rad sticker. Villains, if you don't know who villains are, rad drifting team, rad cars. Bought this from them at Final Bout, and actually that sticker fucked my life up because uh, I placed it wrong. I placed it down too far, and that pushed the rest of my stickers down, so now there's gaps and stuff like that. There's gaps and ugly shit. All because of you villains. All because of you. Another Ryosuke sticker. He's always my favorite character and that FC is just beautiful. Play Dirty. I've been trying to find out who this is for a long ass time and I cannot figure it out. This is another company that makes rad stickers and it has been for a while. I don't know what you want to call the company, but there you go. It's right there. But this was their Black Friday sale sticker. That's Rhea's Grimmery from high school, a double D. And it's actually reflective kind of. And she's all glitched out and I thought that was rad. My first never content sticker, Dazzle Boys. That's Nick and Nee from Love Live. I was a big fan of Love Live. Call me gay, I don't care. Oh God. That, this show right here was garbage, but I found the sticker and I had to get it. Uh, I cannot remember the name. Was there a vampire? I think it was the name of the show. More loot stickers that I couldn't get into the back of my uh, bucket seat. Another loot sticker. So, more loot stickers, and then this is a new one. That's Faith from uh, Mirror's Edge, if you've ever played that game before. I loved the game, and I saw the sticker and had to get it. I cannot pronounce the name of this show. She was cute as shit in the show, and I enjoyed it. Uh, Funky Garage is the one who made it. They make awesome stickers. And then another from Rain Spirit. If you know who that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's same for this one. Okay, I can't say the name of this show because it's it's pretty fucked up. But for a hint, there's twin sisters. So uh, that's your hint. Another RA Zero sticker that's out of focus from Four Eyes. He makes cool shit. And then more plastic memories. Uh, in the show, she was a robot. So every time that she'd panic and not know what to say, she would say error. And that's where that came from. Fujiwara Tofu Shop sticker that's on the side of Takamizu 86 in the show. I 
I thought it was cool, so I bought it and put it on here. I couldn't put it on the side of my car, of course, because it's white, so the windshield had to uh, make it do. And I almost forgot about the sticker on my helmet. If you don't remember what this is from, there was a video that came out where a guy at a convention walked up to this chick dressed as a maid and asked her to pose for the camera, and she posed like this, and then the guy said, thank you, and then the girl turned around and in a deep voice, said, you're welcome, bro, and it was a man. It was funny because I was at that convention, that was Anime Expo a couple years ago, and the guy that makes these stickers and that filmed that, uh, that's Hey Devin on Instagram, and I remember him posting on his Instagram and it was fucking hilarious, and then it ended up, it ended up getting on Tosh.0, which is funny, but uh, that's always been one of my favorite stickers. I'm gonna hold off on putting my sticker on my car. I wanna do some more thinking before I do. But that is going to end it for me today. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys aren't into this type of shit, but it's something that I'm really into and I, that I really enjoy. And I've always kinda wanted to show it off to you guys for whoever gives a fuck. So like, maybe two of you. <laughs> But I wanted to show you that. It's a big deal for me to get my own sticker and to show off my collection and how long I've been doing this. It's just kind of cool to me. And also, uh, I've been getting a lot of commenters lately, which is what I've always wanted. I never really cared about how many views it gets and how much it gets shared around. I've always wanted commenters on my videos just to talk about what happened in the video or just like talk about certain things. And my last video surprisingly got a, like, 10 comments! Oh my god, 10 comments. But that's a big deal for me. It's, I'm a small channel, so seeing people comment like that is awesome to me. Comment. Call me a faggot. Something. <laughs> but that's all for me today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.